more than anything, our goal is to change the world through food. And the only way we really change things is you make the right thing, not just the easy thing, but you make the right thing the sexiest thing, the most delectable thing, the most luscious thing, the thing that if you're an evil person, you still eat it. If you're a poor person, you still eat it. If you're too busy and you don't give a damn, you still eat it, right? That's how we change the system. You know what I think growing up, dreaming of playing in the NFL um, kind of did something to me. You know, it made me, um, it made me want to reach for something and it developed sort of a set of muscles, um, not physical muscles, but mental muscles that make me want to do something that's impossible. Uh, and then I went to Africa. I went to Kenya, um, actually to work for the UN Global Compact. And I think I realized through the process that nonprofits are important um, and they can have an impact. But if I really wanted to have an impact, it was going to be through business. If I really wanted to solve urgent problems around the world, 67 million young kids on the street instead of school, a billion people living under a dollar a day, climate change, these issues that really impact whether the world is moving forward or backwards, it needed to be through business. So I, I came back to the States, slept on my ex-girlfriend's couch for a little bit, saved some money, uh, and decided that I want to attack one big system out there. And I looked at energy, and I looked at education, and then I looked at food, and then everything changed since that moment. I'm not a chef. Well, I'm passionate about food because we can do some good. Uh, I'm passionate about food because it's a system that if you flip it on its head, can solve real problems, can make people's lives better, can feed that kid in the front row in Nairobi, right? Can alleviate the anxiety of that single mom. If you're a millennial in Beijing who cares about the environment, but you're eating food in a way that is actually exacerbating climate change because of the water, because of the carbon, it's not a good thing. And that more than anything is the motivator. I mean, in the next 20 years, we want to have more of a positive impact than any other company on the planet. You've got to ask yourself, if you were going to start over in food, if you're really going to use food as a means to do a lot of good, what would you do? What would it look like? And I think you'd create all sorts of different categories of food that use less water and less land, that were healthier, that were more affordable for everyone. You'd make the right thing the easiest thing. And the question, how, does you, how do you do that? Um, and I think plants are one of those ways that you can. The beautiful thing about the future of food, it's just right beneath our fingertips. It's right under our noses. And there are 400,000 species of plants in this world. 400,000. And the world has got addicted to like two, soy and corn. What are we doing? Why aren't we looking at sorghum and yellow peas and beans from around the world? Why aren't we using them as tools that are better for the environment, that are better for our health to make these better food products? And that's what we do at Hampton Creek. We have a team of biologists and computational biologists and amazing chefs that screen through all these plants, tools that we've forgotten about, and then we use them to make the right thing the easy thing. I think, in my opinion, what business is for is taking a real hard look at the needs that we have all around us, next door in our communities, in our neighborhoods, in our cities, in our towns, in our states, in our countries, all around the world, and saying, how do I use my strengths and create a business model to make that stuff better? I think what it's going to take is for the biggest companies in the world to get a bit bolder, for companies like Hampton Creek to push them maybe even scare them a little bit into changing and ultimately help them and work together so that we can really change this thing. Because as proud as I am about Hampton Creek and what we're doing, we're not going to change the entire food system alone. Wake up and realize that we shouldn't throw our life into soul-sucking jobs. Wake up and realize that needs are all around you and you have an accountability to solve them. There's a false construction that exists, right, that says, if I care about the world, I'm a martyr and I work for a nonprofit organization, right? Um, you know, maybe I'll donate a little bit to charity. And I think it's garbage. Like you can throw your life into solving a problem through business. You have one little short life and you can choose to spend that short life draining from the world or doing nothing from the world. Or you can choose to spend that life actually making things a bit better.